Hi, and welcome to Couch Conversations with Joanna. Apartments have been a popular purchase for our buyers, so let's deep dive about buying into a body corporate environment. You may hear the word body corporate or strata title used when you're looking at apartments, units and townhouses. Essentially, these are one and the same. A strata title is a model of property ownership in Australia that allows individuals to buy ownership in a larger property or building and have a share in a common area. These common areas are typically stairways, lifts and foyers, basement car parking, gardens, pools, gyms and infrastructure such as power, sewerage and water. When purchasing into a body corporate environment, there are additional fees and contributions that are required as part of their ongoing ownership. Typically calculated corporately, payments are made into the administrative fund and sinking fund. So a sinking fund is a deposit of money which allows for the body corporate to pay for major building repairs and maintenance expenses. An example could be external painting of the building or the replacement of balcony railings. The administration fund is where money is set aside to meet day-to-day -day working expenses or regular operating and maintenance costs. An example could be paying for pool chemicals, insurances, consumables or lawn mowing contractors. Again, it's really important that you undertake your due diligence of a property and a body corporate scheme ahead of presenting an offer to purchase. So here are some offers for you to consider. Ask the selling agent for a copy of the disclosure statement, as this document will have a breakdown of the sinking fund and admin fund contributions that are to be paid. It will also show how much money is in the actual sinking fund, breakdown of all the insurances, copy of the body corporate minutes, body corporate bylaws, and numerous supporting documents. We always review the disclosure statement in full detail, so take your time to read and note down any questions that you need to clarify. Understand the capex and schedule maintenance of the building. Get curious. Is there enough money to fund these expenses? Or is there a likely chance that the body corporate fees could be increased over time to cover these costs? Consider the amount of money in the sinking fund and divide this across the total number of units in the complex. Are you still satisfied there is sufficient funds? Review the body corporate minutes. If not available through the selling agent, then you can purchase directly from the body corporate manager. Often this is a great investment. You need to read all the minutes and identify if there are any ongoing issues with occupants and tenants. Are there any maintenance issues that not have been rectified? Is there harmony and no toxicity within the complex? Does the on-site manager or body corporate manager appear to be proactive? Next, review the body corporate bylaws and understand what you can and cannot do within the complex. These could be things like parking of cars, items stored on your private balconies, the use of common areas, what's the policy on keeping pets. In addition to the body corporate fees, you will also need to consider your personal bank mortgage, council and water rates, utility charges and insurances. If the property to be, is to be tenanted, then landlord insurance with contents coverage is highly recommended. If you are to be an owner-occupier, then contents insurance and public liability insurance will suffice. Please remember to spend the time to read everything and seek comfort in your decision before presenting an offer to purchase. Oh,